On the menu tonight, lamb. Yeah. The top seven teams Another fun had one front last row one. seats to a Gordon Ramsay masterclass. Fun. You've got to speed up. Yashika. Textbook. And Kate. It's incredibly impressive. Thank you so much. We're a cut above the rest. But Sam yeah, I'm going, I'm going didn't have the chops. Holy follow that. I can't do that to my palate. To stay in the again. competition. Tonight, I don't give a shit. Oh, team challenge. Freak on the boys. All right, all right. Wow. The Peninsula Hotel is like a dream. All right. This is very posh. It looks like it's been cut out of a movie. You talking about smelling and feeling money? Everywhere you look, it's there. Okay. Good morning, all Good morning. of you. Light up. It's so hot. Wow. Welcome to Beverly Hills, specifically the Belvedere restaurant at the iconic Peninsula Hotel. This legendary five-star hotel happens to be home to one of the finest restaurants in the country. Mama a restaurant that Mia. today is being taken over by all of you home cooks. <laughs> today you'll be in charge of the dining room breakfast service for this hotel's extremely discerning guest. Now, we need two teams. Kate and Yashika, you two performed the best during the previous lamb challenge, and today you'll each captain a team. Come up and pick up your aprons. I'm not a very aggressive person. I don't like telling people what to do. It's not part of my nature. I don't know how this is going to go. <laughs> so, Kate, fight, brother? quick question. Yeah. Name one person that you wouldn't want on your team. Ooh, oh, I'm going to go on. with Jeff. Interesting. What do you mean? Jeff has a very loud voice, but he doesn't take direction. He kind of just likes to be a little arrogant, and that's a quality I don't need on my team. Yes, Chica. Yes, Chef. One person that you wouldn't want on your team. Today um, would be Jennifer. Wow. I don't want Jennifer on my team because Jennifer cracks under pressure, and she's not refined enough for this type of challenge. OK, Today, fair enough. Today, team captains are not in control of which teams you get. That's going to be in the hands of all of you remaining home cooks. Huh? You want to work with Kate? Stand single file right next to Kate. You want to be on Yushika's team? Stay where you are. Is everyone ready? Yes, yes, yes. chef. Uh-oh. Go. Yushika said she doesn't want me on a team, but I want to prove her wrong. She has this free notion that I'm dumb or I don't have as much talent as others. But okay, I'm in dude. This game and I'm growing every day and I'm learning every day. Okay. Captains, you'll need That's these. Let's produce all Please hand them out to teams. Looking at my team, I think I have the underdog team. I am 100% used to being the underdog, so I know that we can work together and I can lead this team to victory. Today, you'll be cooking five stunning breakfast dishes and all made to order. There's just one more piece of information that all of you need, and that is the menu. Go change into your chef wife, and we'll I meet you chance. all Stop being in the kitchen. Stop yeah. objectifying me. All right, let's go, guys. Go, Red Z. Uh, home cooks, allow me to introduce you to executive chef David Cobb. Well, welcome, 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 welcome. But respectfully, though, did now, you see that? We're going to very quickly, concisely did go you see over the, the side of that ham. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. All right. First dish lemon ricotta pancakes. We have a little bit of ricotta cheese on top that we've whipped. We have a preserved lemon butter. All right, next dish. Classic Eggs Benedict, garnished with some house chives. They look incredible. Thank you. The next breakfast dish. Wow. My personal favorite, this is the potato waffle and lobster. What? You want to under poach the lobster just to hit, so when you heat it up, it doesn't become rubbery. And the next dish. Classic American breakfast. Two fried eggs, bacon, house hash browns. Wow. Beautiful. The final one, David, one. is three egg omelet. Folded in with a little bit of garnish and a hash brown. Cooked to order. Cooked to order. Love it. This is Simple serious enough. business, guys. Is everyone ready? Yes, chef. Your 60 minutes of prep time starts now. Now. Let's go, guys. 
You put the best chefs on the lobster and the Benedict, and you throw it you throw it the bus when they fail. I need you right on that Hollandaise. Beautiful, perfect every time. Her. Reba, eggs, Jennifer, sunny side. Okay. Caitlin, pancakes. You got it. Jason, lobster, making beautiful. It is what it is. I need that bacon, perfect. Jenny, poached egg. I can do the poached egg. Bring that in. One, two, three, blue team. Blue team. Okay, eggs Benedict. I want Nico and Gabe on the hollandaise. Ebony, you're gonna be doing the poaching of the eggs. I want Newton on the Canadian bacon and the bacon. Boston boys, Adam and Daniel on the potato waffle with the lobster. We have lemon ricotta pancakes. Um, we'll get those done at, at the end. I don't agree with the direction the captain is taking our team. Then she's got me poaching eggs. I can probably do two of these dishes by myself, and she's not utilizing anybody to the best of their ability. Then right. say it. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Go, 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 go. Find your station, get your knife. Now, come on, guys. This is a tall order. I mean, it takes weeks of training, shadowing other cooks before I even put any one of my cooks on the line. Now, red team captained by Kate. Kate has very strong personalities on her team. She has Daniel and she has Ebony. Both have a lot of gravitas. But my concern with the red team is going to be not enough soldiers, yeah. too many leaders. Here's, Get your area straight up back here. It's going to get the direction that's even better if, if people have a specialty, though. Who's water? You using this? Yes, I'm using it. If somebody's like a god at Holland Bay, you can just put them all the other, you know? Get it prepped, that way we have it ready. They may not look the most dynamic, but I think they're the better and faster. The Don't let me That's down, y'all got this. When you think about a place like the Belvedere at the Peninsula, you expect top-notch service and amazing dining experience, and I have the same expectations today. Okay. The Peninsula Hotel is really one of my most favorite hotels. Although I live in Los Angeles, so we love to come here. The food is so outstanding. And I'm really looking forward to seeing what these chefs are going to do today. Yeah. I lost it. Chef, the first that two blue tickets are dog. in. Thank you. OK, blue team, order on. First table, one omelet, one pancake, followed by two Benedict, one American breakfast, one pancake. Yes, Chef. How long, please, Yashika? Four minutes, Chef. Thank you, good girl. Hey, all right, guys, we got this. Red team, we are live. Let's go. Four covers, table 52. One lobster, one American, two omelets. Give me a time, please. Six minutes, Chef. Drive your team. Let's go. I'm kind of freaking out Chef, right now. I'm down There's bad. There's so many things going through my head, and it it's it very frustrating to try to organize chaos. I need, um, we need, uh, for here, we need the tomato. No, I'm sorry. One, one Benedict. I have one Benedict. All together. All day. The pressure is just so unreal. I'm just like, can I do this? She's. I don't know. She's bullying Let's go, Willie. Guys. Waffles in, pancakes on. Kate, turn the gas on. We're standing there cooking, not even the gas on. Take a deep breath. You got this. One scratch. Oh dear. One pancake. Good. Lovely pancakes, nice and crisp. Thank you, Chef. Service, please pick up. Blue team, all day. Two pennies. Heard? Heard. Three American breakfast. Heard? Yeah, let's go. This blue team is stellar. We good over here? Good over here. I need two beautiful pieces of bacon. We are on point. We are focused. We are sending tables out. One after one after one. Two Benny, one pancake. Two beautiful eggs benedicts. If the blue team keeps putting our plates like this, we are going to demolish the red team. Lobster, eggs, Benny up. These are good. Red team. Yes, chef. In 25 minutes, we've served one table of two. And I'm waiting on one lobster, one breakfast, two omelets. I have one omelet here. Oh, my god. Everybody timing this off. There's no communication. There's no leadership. Where's the teamwork? I got a lobster waffle. Let's go. Kate's just barking out these orders, but nobody knows where they're going. Adam. Yes, Chef. The lobster. It's raw. raw. Adam's sending out raw lobster. Some food is getting cold. My pancakes are up there, and they're dying. Come on, Nico. Let's go. This is a disaster. Hey, young lady. Yes, Chef. Look at the omelet. Oh, my God. Okay. I've seen a diaper no. look more appetizing okay, than that. Okay, dude, no shot. I'm sorry. It's ridiculous. Guys, we need to get this together. <laughs> Kate, I've got one omelet. Where's the other one? I'm getting it. I'm getting it. Red team, stop, all of you. Come here. 
Come here, you. Fifth time. One lobster, one American breakfast, two omelette. Here's what I get. One omelette cooked by Kate. On the same freaking ticket, we got two omelettes. And now she goes back to start this omelette. If you can't cook two omelettes side by side, untie your apron and give it to me now. Because this is a joke. Now, I'm not asking. I'm telling you. Change your cap to, get a meeting, get a strategy, Damn. and come back to me with a pair of bollocks. One of you. We're going down if down we stay under hand. Kate's She's direction. She can't handle the pressure. She can't okay, lead. It's time her. for me to get in mommy mode and train this team like mommy I would mode. my kids. Watch this. Nico, stay over there on Waffles. Adam, we can use you on the grill. You can produce a better pancake. Y'all go back on Eggs Benedict, and we gonna clean up and substitute everywhere. I'm staying on omelets. Who is in charge, please? Hey, Ebony Chef. Thank you. We focus. Come on, come on, come on. We got this. Pancake, Benedict, beefy done, going stone cold. Jennifer, where are my eggs? Guys, Burning come on. Eggs. I'm sorry, Chef, but I'm, well, I'm getting it together. I got the three tables waiting fine. on you, Jennifer. I need you on point, girl. I knew this was going to happen. I knew Jennifer was going to crack under pressure. Jennifer, are you putting any butter in this pan? Yes, I put oil in this the pan. This egg ain't moving. Well, I, mean, I, got, I got these in. Hey. They're not perfect. Wow. These eggs person. are not done. I need the American breakfast. Two minutes. Two minutes. Take that back. She killed the Take whole that back. Table. Okay, Take come on. This is a total disaster. Jennifer keeps saying she can do this, and she keeps sending out bad eggs. I don't have time to babysit in the kitchen. Okay, stop. Blue team, switch. Jennifer, back up Jenny. Okay, whatever. Jeff, I need you here with Chef. I'm on edge. If I don't jump on this line, we're going down. I got okay, it. Tell I got him. it. Twenty seconds. How long on pancakes? Forty-five seconds on pancakes. Good job. Service. Look a little burnt. Table fifty-four. Oh, one lobster waffle. Come on. The little girl from Chicago with lungs big as Texas. I need six pancakes. Got pancakes coming up, Ebony. Good job. Y'all doing a good job. Yes, chef. That's a team leader right there. When you two make it out, let him know so his pancakes can stay hot. Yes, chef. Let's get it. Got it, chef. You guys, the food's looking oh, great. Oh, the big respect for us. Nice. Chef. We got timing, we got communication, we got teamwork, and we're kicking ass and taking Damn. it. Damn. Okay, they're rolling now. You just got four tickets out in the last two minutes. So nice much. job. Good, let's go. I need them eggs. Let's keep the flow. Let's keep the flow going. Here we go. Hey, stop. Blue team. <laughs> oh, my God. Come on. Okay. No, no, so it's, it's not okay. You... Don't care. They're trying to get it out too quick, though. It, it's burned on the sides because it got like so that. So you think that's good enough to that set? Crown? Just so I know where you are standard-wise. I don't, actually. And we're going to get right. two more orders. So to don't order. dare send me your again because I look a bigger dick than you. I'm not Free a dick for one. When you send me that and then tell me I'm that's your best. Voice. That's not my best. I never said it Do you know what I said? I look a bigger dick than you. And I'm not going to send that. Hers, her. We can debate about the dick bit later. Are you kidding me? You need to shut your mouth. You can't be yelling at Chef Ramsay like that. You need to show him some respect. How long for the breakfast? Oh, I'm starting this table again. Two minutes. This is madness. We better wake up, get in the game, or Chef. it's curtains for us. Get I, I right, would pay money to get to Gordon to yell me and say, come here, you. And sit there next to the next to the, the metal plate and then go bang! You know, bang! Yashika, <laughs> where's the breakfast? I need it now. Walking with American. Finally. I like when he does that. There we go. Why are you doing this to me? A five-star hotel, and we serve him that. For the fourth time, one breakfast, one omelet, followed by two breakfast, two omelets. Yes, yes, chef. Yes, chef. I'm pissed right now. She could took me off eggs, but now she goes to eggs. She's not even able to make an egg. Two American breakfast, two omelets. I'm dragging hard. Customers are waiting. If we don't get it together, we're not going to feed people. Gonna we're going to lose. We need to get 21 out now. Okay. Come we here, you puppet. One pancake. Service. Two servers. As we're approaching the end of service, I'm kind of like in mommy chef mode. It's like, these are all my kids. Watch them like a hawk. Make sure they do it right. At the same time, motivate and create. I need one more omelet. Got it coming. That's 
nice. So you guys have the blue team's breakfast. Yes. Okay. Tell me, what do you think about your eggs Benedict there? The hollandaise sauce is fantastic. It's zesty. The egg has poached exactly correctly. It's wonderful. That's <laughs> awesome. How am I doing on that eggs Benny? We're good. We're almost there. I had the uh, red team's waffles with lobster. That Very looks, nice and buttery. That and looks delicious. sad. Melts in my mouth. Lobster up. Thank you, Adam. Adam. I had the blue team all-American breakfast. I'm disappointed. My eggs are really runny. They look a little mucusy. I've been coming to the Belvedere for years, and I was hoping for better. Come on, guys. I got about five minutes well, left, but I still... I, I, I want to see this. I want to see this. Coming to the Belvedere for years, and I was... Chosen breakfast, uh, Master Chef Blue. Boom, boom, ring one to the highest and then comments. Okay, fair enough. Hoping for better. And we've Come on, guys, I got we've about five minutes left, before. but I still am dragging all those it. eggs, please. The red team's omelet is cooked awesome. One. I mean, like, it's beautiful and fluffy, but seasoning wasn't consistent. Jesus. Woo! Ain't nobody going to read that, pal. Our pancakes are delicious. They're so nice. <laughs> Brother, ain't nobody going to read that. <laughs> S A N D. Do that make a fucking Reddit post team, about please. it. S A. No Red team. Red team. Red team. Where we at? Nice job. job. Be proud of your work today. Yeah. Hey, get it. Get it. What you know? What you know? Yeah. What you know? Yeah. I'm proud of what our you know? team. What you know? We did have a strong comeback, but the fact that it took us 25 minutes to get out one correct plate almost. It could be anybody's game right now. No, oh, come on now. Blue team. It's not how you start. Yes, it's how you again. finish. I got a plate full of snot. Oh. Now for the fifth and final time, I need two breakfast with two omelets cooked with some respect. Heard? Yes. yes. Heard. Two minutes left of service. Yeah. If it's not up, it's done. Get it right. We have had the same two orders for the last 45 minutes, it feels like. 60 seconds remaining. Come on, guys. You see, I'm dragging out those two American breakfasts. It's hitting the fan at this point. Everybody's They're running not gonna around get it like out a chicken then. with their head cut off. 45 seconds to go. Come on, guys, please. Where's my two and two? Where's my two and two? 20 seconds. And now, Chill. Yashika needs to be perfect, or else we are going down with these eggs. Come on. Where's my egg? Come on, guys. I'm dragging on two eggs. 10 seconds. Come on, Yashika. Yashika. Nine. Nine. Give, give me eight. eight. Seven. Six. It, five. Four. Three. Oh, two. God. One and stop! No. Service is over and I'm not serving that. <laughs> Blue team, clear down. I feel horrible. As a team captain, I let my team down because I couldn't cook eggs. How embarrassing. Red team, blue team. You ran a world-class restaurant Shit. breakfast service. There's not many home cooks that can say they've done that. Well done. Aron was out there fronting your service. Christina, myself, and Aron have dissected the comment cards. We tasted your dishes. We saw how you worked together in the kitchen. So, without further ado, today's best performing team. Come on, don't, come on. Team that will not don't face even, don't the stall. dreaded pressure test. A red. A red. Is. Come on. The red team. Yeah. Did he even try to bait it by pointing a blue team. Come on, Gordo. I'm so happy my team won. And I think this is intimidating a few of my competitors. Now they know how strong I am. And I'm probably going to be a target now, which I was trying to be sneaky with it. But I did not want to lose today, so I had to step up and show my abilities. OK. Tell Ebony, on. we were impressed. Vocal, assertive, Tell disciplined. On. Thank you, Chef. Congratulations. All of you, head out to the patio and get yourselves a drink. Well done. Yeah, she gets Blue to talk her shit and she kind of popped off and she got the whole team to, to win, so. clearing down both kitchens and I'll see you back inside the master kitchen. Let's go. Nice job, guys. Nice job. Well done. Good job, Red Team. She kind of went mommy mode. All of our asses are on the line. Over eggs. I'm filled with anger. This is my life. I want this. Now I got to go on a pressure test. I don't think that this is fair to any of us. You see, I am upset, upset with you. I'm you just kept me on those eggs. Do you know how many eggs we got sent back? Your eggs were sent back Your the whole time. Your eggs have more sent The whole time. What you're going to do is calm down. That's what you're going to do. I think certain people just don't know how to cook. And I think we're going to find out tomorrow 
Who can cook and who can't? What is that? What is that? What is that? People just don't know how to cook. And I think we're gonna That's what you're gonna do. I think certain people just don't know how to cook. And I think we're gonna find out tomorrow who can cook and who can't. Welcome. Cool. Come on down, please, guys. Thank you. All eight of us are facing elimination today, and I feel like it's all my fault. Line up, please. Thank you very much. We failed as a team. However, I was the team captain. And so I just have to be ready to take my punishment, face this pressure test. Unfortunately, blue team, yesterday, we struggled. So now it's back to every home cook for themselves. OK, what happened, Jeff? Talk me through what you saw. What went wrong? It all starts from the top down. It was a terrible show of leadership. A great leader really needs to make sure that you can manage tasks and motivate others. <laughs> she could, what's funny? I'm just amazed that someone who does not have the ability to be led and is disrespectful to uh, any leader, even yourself. Hey, well, where's your integrity? You're the leader of the ship. We all go down with you. But instead of being able to pull us, you need to push us. That's what leaders do. No, you need do. to speak you to push, me with you don't respect. Pull. You don't and deserve my respect in this moment. Enough, enough. Come on, guys. Absolutely. Guys, guys. Come on. Quiet. And this, this is, is exactly our team. what happened. Mm -mm -mm. OK. Uh, Jennifer, what happened? When I was on AX, we were ahead. She decided to take me off AX. She put me in a corner with the waffles like a kid. And because she didn't okay. believe in me, it she wasn't took about me off not of believing in you. I wanted you, if you, I wanted believed you to, in me, I wanted you would have let me take waffles. over the AX. No, I wanted you to go to waffles to calm down. Oh, both teams had bumps. It's just that the red team were smart enough, quick enough to reposition mm -hmm. and play each and every member to their strengths. Now, team of eight stands in front of us, but not all of you will compete in this pressure test. What happens next is entirely in your captain's hands. I, I, Yashika, I had a weird taste. You can a... choose to save yourself or six members of your team. Mm -hmm. Wait, you said what? Or six members of your team. Mm -hmm. I would save myself, because I ain't none of their friends. This is Master Chef. It can only be one. So she needs to take her ass up to the balcony. Now, yourself or six individuals standing alongside you? Be selfish. Six. <sighs> we failed. Captain goes down with the ship. I agree with that. I agree with that. So okay. the first name is who? Jason, Chef. Good job. Yeah, Kim. Jason. Upstairs, quickly, Jason. You guys, you gotta respect it. Yoshika, the second person you're saving. Caitlin, chef. Good job. Yep. That was the right answer. Guys, off, please. And it's not fake if we're signaling because she's actually staying. If she didn't have to stay and she said I would have, that was just signaling. But when she, when you do something, Caitlin, it's not first signaling. No. Because you're doing Jenny, it. Jenny, chef. Jenny. The fourth person you're saving. She's fine. Reba, chef. Thank you. The fifth person you're saving is. Dino, chef. D Dino. Ah. I like Dino, whatever. One person left to put up on the balcony, and the remaining person you'll go head to head with. I know Yashika's coming for me. We've already gone at it with our challenge, we've Do already it. gone at it in she... front of everyone. You want to tangle? Let's tangle. I dare you. No integrity six if she goes to Jennifer. The final name that you're sending to the safety of the balcony. If she sends him up, food. no integrity. Jeff, Jeff. Oh, wow. Wow. Thank you. Jeff Thank definitely you. deserves to be fighting for his life today. However, Jennifer will fall apart under pressure, just as she did in the kitchen. Uh, Jennifer, are you surprised you're down here? That's all right. I want to know what we're cooking, and I want to do it now. I'm ready to go. Ooh, I helped your team yeah. when we needed it. We were ahead. I was one of the people that made us ahead. It's not guys, guys, guys. She said, "Oh, I'm." 
Kevin does not go down to the ship, and then she picks the weakest. Helped all your team, which you should have been doing, and now you still have me down here. Nothing personal. Oh, I know nothing personal either. Let's go. It's hot in here. Whatever. Are you both ready to find out, or are you going to have to make for this pressure test? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Please turn around. Whatever. Sure. Better game. I'm shaking for him. OK. Tonight, for your tough pressure test, You'll be cooking a dish that I grew up eating at least once a week. To keep your place in this competition, we'll be cooking an incredible British classic fish and chips. And chips. Oh. Yeah. Look at it. Crispy beer battered white fish with delicious thick cut chips with smashed fresh peas and finished off with that incredible homemade tartar sauce. And because I do not want to hear any excuses tonight, I'm going to show you how it's done. Please, okay. watch carefully. No excuses. Now, behind a perfect fish and chips lies the batter. This is an incredible beer batter. Mix in the dry ingredients first. AP flour, followed by cornstarch, salt, baking soda. From there, mix that in gently. Form a little well in the middle, and very carefully add your beer. Don't add all the beer at the same time, otherwise it's going to cause lumps. We want the batter to be thick enough to coat the fish beautifully and not too thin so as it runs off the fish. Make it really nice and silky. You can smell that batter from there, right? Mm -hmm. It's got that nice, delicious richness to it. Okay. Now, the secret is to let it rest. Corn starch, yes, flour. Now, the fish. So how do we get the moisture out there? We season the fish lightly. I it takes out any excess water. To make sure the fish sticks to the batter, you run it through seasoned flour and then shake off any excess. Green salt. And you lay that Green inside the batter. Let it sink and just coat the fish. And then very quickly get rid of the excess batter. Done Let it coat and lay away. Those fillets of fish take three and a half to four minutes. The secret now is to get that batter nice and crispy and beautifully seasoned. Mm. Now, chips. Potatoes peeled. If they are cut evenly, they'll cook evenly and all at the same time. Get your fries straight into the fryer. Crank the heat up if you want those nice and crispy. Now, the way to identify when your fish is cooked, once that batter is coated, the fish starts to rise inside the fryer. And as it starts to float, it's a strong indication the fish is cooked beautifully. Let it rest. Fries. Smart. Out of the basket, into the bowl. Smoked paprika salt. Fresh chopped parsley into a bowl and coat your fries. And then take your cone, big tall ones at the bottom, and fill up that cone with your fries, making sure the fries are nice and crisp. That's a, that's a and lot. And then lightly season your fish, and then up and over. And that is how you make a perfect MasterChef quality fish and chips. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey guys. We do fish fries all the time in church, but we don't batter fry. We don't make fish and chips. This challenge is all about timing. The same reason I got here is timing. And so I've got to bring my A game and Come on, get Jennifer. out of here and be safe. You two home cooks will have just 45 minutes to get as I close as you can to Gordon's fish and chips. Your 45 minutes starts now. I'm so mad right now. I don't deserve to be in a pressure one test. I'm trying are... my best to hold it together, but my insides are screaming. I just. Corn starch? Yeah, she has this if she puts Jeff in, I would have voted for her. She lights a fire in me. I'm ready to go. So let's no, he shows Jennifer, so I vote Jennifer then. It's a showdown. All right, y'all. My girl. Please tell me you've got everything. Oh, oh no. Foreshadowing you. Guys, head to head battle. Pressure test with Shika versus Jennifer. This is going to be intense. Let's go. Stay focused, you guys. Game time. Jennifer's got that look of determination. I haven't seen this in oh, Jennifer no. yet. That old hell hath no sugar than a woman scorn. Holy snikes. That cat fight's about to begin. And we're getting ready to see one heck of a shootout. <laughs> All right, guys. Guys, look like it's your last time. <laughs> this guy, dude. Ladies, remember, mushy peas, Come tartar on, sauce, on, fries, and fish. 45 minutes to recreate oh. and perfect.
my fish and chips. Come on. Holy shit, geez, what is it that? It you guys, game time. Calling every battle of the ages. Jennifer, for the first time, has that fire. The fire that she should have brought from the beginning. Redemption, Yashika. Redemption, both of you. Keep it up. I think Yashika's gonna win. It shows confidence in herself as a cook that she decided to go head to head with Jennifer. All right, no. So fish and chips. I just think you grew up eating. Yes. What are the pitfalls, Gordon? Because this is not something that I necessarily grew up eating. It was lumpy. The mm. perfect fish and chips is in the batter. Yep. Mm. Lightly salting that fish to make sure you got rid of all that excess moisture and keeping yeah. that batter nice and crisp. The secret, though, is to make sure that we get all those lumps mm. out of that batter, blend it beautifully, and then let it rest. That is really, really important. Ten minutes gone. 35 minutes remaining. OK. How are you feeling? I'm feeling OK, Chef. I'm feeling a little okay? nervous. You had the option to walk up those freaking stairs. True. But at the end of the day, I teach integrity. I teach love. When you make a mistake, you own it. So you're up against a tough competition. I am. I've never seen Jennifer so feisty, determined, and focused. Yeah. yeah. Tell me, the fish and chips, what are you worried about? What's the one thing that you're nervous about? Just making sure that the fish is cooked thoroughly, properly, all the way through, and that my fries are nice and crispy. Mm -hmm. uh, highly commendable, what you did. Thank you, Chef. Don't underestimate that. Thank you, Chef. I had the tiger. Hey, don't give me some points. Jennifer, hey, how's it going? Why do you think Yashika chose to stay down here and battle you head to head? I mean, hey, she thinks I'm weak. I get it. The <laughs> thing is, uh, it's time for me to prove myself, and this is maybe my starting point. So you're going to prove it through fish and chips. You're from Louisiana, 25-year-old debt collector. You get a lot of fish and chips down there? I've made fish and chips before. I don't use the exact batter. It's very much about ratios. It's about timing. That's the main thing. I finish my batter. It's sitting over there. I'm working on my potatoes, working on all the sides in a second, and I'll be good in the hood. Keep cool. Yep. Keep focused. You can do this. Okay. Got this, Jennifer. Ladies, we're down to 10 minutes. Chips should be blanched. Fish should be salting. These look a Peas little wide. must be blanching. And tartar thicker. sauce must be en route. Stay focused, guys. You got this. Speed up. Come on. Speed up. All right, now, Jennifer seems much more calm than the last pressure test we yeah. saw her in. No tears, okay. more focus. Yes. Okay. But her batter looks a little thick to me. But the secret is to make sure you whisk it two or three times before you start putting your fish in there. Yep. It starts to incorporate, and it will run thinner. You got it, Jen. Now, I think Yashika seems to have a good handle on everything. She's not going to get phased by all the drama. Oh, no. She just wants to come here, redeem herself. Yeah. Now, I it think both like of them are doing the same thing. They kind of seem to be in parallel worlds mm -hmm. as far as where they are in the process. Mm -hmm. Nice job, ladies. So Yashika's dredging her fish. Mm -hmm. Jennifer's now dredging the fish. Mm -hmm. But they're big pieces of fish. Oh, my God, they're, they're monsters. Oh, my the God. fish that big and that cold, what's going to happen to the temperature of oil when it goes? It's going to drop. It's going to drop. That oil's not going to heat up. It's going to sit there forever. Look at the size of her fish. That's the perfect size of fish. Wow. It's going to sit there forever. Yeah. 42 minutes gone, three minutes remaining. Everything needs to be finished on that board within three minutes. Let's go, Jennifer. Put in second gear. I don't have lemon. Jennifer, what have you forgotten? I forgot lemon, Jeff. What's All the right. one thing you serve with fish? Lemon. lemon. I know. Hey, Jennifer, ask her for lemon. Maybe she'll give you one. Hey, Dashika, can I have a bowl of your lemon? Come on. Oh, thank you. Yes, oh, wow. Right. No, That's you did not. That's good sportsmanship. No, yep. That's thank not sportsmanship. 90 seconds to go. Come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. You know what you're doing, baby. Chips around, they look Fuck great. Look at you. Them. There you go, baby. Look at Yashika's fish just straight out of the oil. I'm Beautiful. hoping they're going to season it now. It's beautiful, Yashika. It is not nice Looking good, chipper. ladies. Let's go. That's 30 throwing. seconds come remaining. Yes. Come on, Jennifer. It's got to be done. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Check your fish. Let's go. Check your chips. Season everything. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Start to head. Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, man. Hey, we talk. All right. Beautiful, you two. Good job, lady. Good job. Well done. Thank you, chef. Very carefully bring Guys. your fish and chip platters down to the front, please. I look at it you looks like a Christmas log. Is that her bat is definitely darker than how I would make it. Her chips don't look as good. She didn't cut them correctly, and they look a little limp. So it's time for Yashika to go home. Lady. Jennifer's dish looks like it oh. came from a fast food restaurant. Mine looks like it came from Chef Ramsay's restaurant. Amazing. Mm. Both of you. I think I did his dish justice today. Right, Yashika, let's start with you. 
Yeah, it's a lager. Okay. Visually, it looks beautiful. Great color on the fries. Great color on the fish. Thank you, Chef. But we know the flavor is something else. Correct. The batter's a little thick. Can you hear that from up there? Crispy. Crispy. Yes. I'm going to yeah. cut through there. Crispy. I want to see yeah, glistening thick, flakes of cod encrusted with this incredible batter. Chica. It's pretty good. It's perfect. That is beautiful. It's Thank beautiful. you, Chef. Fuck. How long did you salt the fish for? Uh, salt the fish for about 20 minutes and let it set. Fries. Fries. Uh, blanch them, no color. Finish frying them off and season them with smoked pepper. It's, it's the wrong shape. And settle down. You know, fish is beautiful. Let's get that right. Salted beautifully, nice and firm. Tartar sauce, delicious. However, your the fries are so thick. Fiddles are bland. When they're that thick, they get sort of soft and soggy. But you're 85% of the way there. What has been confirmed over the last 45 minutes, you can handle pressure. Thank you, Chef. Good job. The fries are under seasoned, miscut, and poorly cooked. Miss poorly Jessica. thought out. Yes, don't, Chef. Don't, don't, How long did you fry that fish? Six minutes. It's like riding the line. Yes, Chef. It's a thick piece of fish. I didn't want it to be underdone in any way. Did you get a bite of this fish? Not the finished product, no, ma'am. What about these mushy peas? They're not too mushed up there. Did you just run out of time? Yeah, and then I realized that I had to make certain that the star was the star and that the accompaniments accompanied the star. And then I think the color hey, that's of no these chips Cop great, out, Andy. when I look at the size of them, but I would love to see better uniformity. Cop out, Andy. Because when you go to fry them, they're all going to fry differently if they're different sizes, right? Yes, ma'am. Um, I think that your fish is absolutely the star. I think your chips leave a little bit to be desired. And peas fall just a little bit short for me. I'm this chat, dude. I, I cannot. I cannot. Jennifer. Right. So I'm going to be honest. I'm going to call it straight you know, from the naked eye. Look at the size of your fish. What happened? Oh, the fries huge, are also dark shit. I think that my batter is good, and I'm hoping that it's done and it's crispy. Visually, it looks in proportion. However, we know it's all about what? It's leaking oil at the back The flavor. Yeah. It's exactly that. Brother, it's now, leaking oil. let's cut through into the center. Did you use all the beer? Yes. You did. It's not crispy at all. It's soggy. It's CG. Wow. Let me see. Oh, it's. <laughs> now, let's cut through into the center. She threw. The batter is way too thick. Yes, yeah, sir. Sure. I see that. Yes. Okay. Um, the fish, it actually tastes better than it looks. You've got the chips nailed. I think your peas, they're tasty. But the hero tonight is what? The fish. That is not your best performance. Yes. Um, Dude, the batter was so thick, it made like a casing and it puffed up. The chips are dynamite. They're beyond reproach. They're amazing. The tartar sauce, it's filled with lots of yummy bits of the cornichon. That should be in a bottle with Jennifer on it. That's how good it is. But the fish, I mean, it just doesn't look right. And I understand that. Yes, sir. No. Ladies, come around to the front. How are y'all here, Ty? It's too Please, close to call. Just give us one moment. No, 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 come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm not, I'm not even coping. Sir, Yoshika. Fish Too close to call. The one issue 1v1 I have is the fries. Vegas rooftop. The I think, yeah, they need a lot of work. Full Jennifer, episode. The actual batter is so thick. But you've got perfect fries. Tartar sauce, done beautifully. Oh, unbelievable. Peas, delicious. Technique is where she fell short. Ladies, based purely on these dishes you cooked this evening, one of you is leaving the Master Kitchen, and one is still in with a chance of becoming America's next Master Chef. The person staying is Jennifer. It's not you. Yeshika. Yeshika. Yeshika.
Yes. Well done, young lady. Thank you, Chef. Good job. It was dog garbage. Oh, Jennifer, honestly, you're going home way too early in our eyes. How do you feel? I know that I've been a crybaby, but thank you all so much for this opportunity, <laughs> for everything that you have showed me to push me to be the best person I can be and the best cook that I can be. <laughs> I have grown so much in the, this past couple of weeks that I could ever grow in two years. Thank you so much for everything. Well, let me tell you, Jennifer, uh, I know it didn't kind of work out for you tonight. Everybody's crying. You have yet. such a great foundation. Just by virtue of where you live, that food culture in Louisiana is so bright. That's why I chose to move there and have my restaurant Everybody's crying on the, on the stands. So if you ever need some time to get better at your skills, my doors are always open. <laughs> been great please jennifer take your apron off place it on your bench and head home thank you all so much thank you okay thank you all. Right, that was awesome this louisiana well girl made it here. to the top 16 of master chef if i can do it anybody can do it so if you ever have any question in your mind that you're not good enough or you're not doing something and you're unhappy change your life we love you too Thank yes. you. Yes. Let get the fuck out of the studio. We got a show to run here, boys. No more debt collected. I'm not going to be knocking on doors. Jennifer, I'm going to go back one. to New Orleans and I'm going to go to our own restaurant. I'm going to take them up on that offer and hopefully one day I'll have a restaurant and I'll be right down the street from him. Bye, Jennifer. Bye, guys. Love y'all. Love right. you. Bye, yeah. Okay. Chad is smoking on that Jennifer pack, I see. Very respectful. Very nice.